Next, we're going to take a look at how to create your own groups in Tileset Organizer. You'll notice one group is already created. This is a default group which is generated to hold your tile sets when you get started. To interact with this group, we simply select on it, and then we can edit the properties of it, um, and then we can also adjust its name and or add and remove content from it. Let's create our own group to experiment on. So we're going to go to the bottom here on the plus, and we're just going to select on this. This will add a new group, and then we can select on that group. It's going to highlight that group. With that selected, we can use our edit tool here, and we can edit the text inside. We'll call this our test group. Hit enter to set it. Now right now we have it selected, but inside of it, when we look on our list here, we have nothing inside for the tile sets. What we can do is go to our tiles right over here. We can use the plus button to assign those tiles to the selected group. And if we're not quite sure that the tile set is what we want, we have a magnifying glass here so that we can take a peek at what's inside of the tiles. So in here, we can see our tiles that are available to us in there. And we can select on this one as well, and we can see which tiles are available. This gives us a chance to make sure that it's the tile set that we want to use. So let's say we start with our bullet game tile guy set one. I'm going to hit on the plus, and that's going to add it to this group, and then we can see it inside of our group tile sets here. And we can add one more. And that's going to add it underneath it right in there. And then inside of the editor, this is the order, and these are the tiles that will show up and be available for you to be able to edit with. Now, if there's something in here that we don't want, all we have to do is click on the minus button, and that's going to remove it from the list. And then we also have our peak view right here so that we can go peek at the tiles just in case we're trying to figure out what's inside of there. Now, we also have a checkbox right here, and this is what assigns this group to be the group that gets used inside of the editor. So you can select on it, and then this becomes the one that gets loaded up. Now, if you don't want to use your group anymore, you can just simply delete it. And it doesn't delete any of the tiles. Your tiles are all still right here. It's just deleting that group, that library that you were using, to edit with. All right, so we can select on this one one more time and we've got them in there. And then once you have all your groups set up and you click on the back button, the back button is going to then load up all the tiles that you're going to be using. So it only loads up what you've actually got selected and that way you don't have to have a whole lot of tiles just hanging around. And that will bring us to a close on our organizer and the tile set organizer. The next thing we'll take a look at is our collection.